The action items endpoint lets you create a list of action items based on the audio file or files that you submit to Lemur. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure you have an assembly AI API key. If you don't already have it, go to assemblyai.com and get a free API key. So the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that we have assembly AI SDK um, installed if you don't have it already. So we're going to use pip for that. I can just clear this out and then we will import assembly AI. And next I need to set my API key that I got from assembly AI. The Python SDK makes it really easy to uh, transcribe files. So all I have to do is to create a transcriber function. And using this transcriber function, I'm going to create a transcribe group. And I can call this a transcript group because the files that I pass here will be transcribed. The files that I'm using are example1.mp3 and example2.mp3. And these are videos of Casey Neistat on YouTube where he's talking about going back to New York from California. And then the other one, he's talking about the transportation problem in New York and how it's so hard to get around with his two daughters. Next, let's set our parameters that we're going to pass to the uh, action items endpoint. We're going to pass them in a dictionary. For the action items endpoint, again, we need to pass the transcript IDs. But as we talked about, the Python SDK automatically deals with this, so we do not have to do it. But if you're not using the Python SDK, then you have to make sure to pass the transcript IDs that you get from Assembly AI to Lemur. Another thing that we can set is the context. We can add additional or give additional context to Lemur uh, about these action items. So we can do that in this case. For example, I can mention these are transcripts of YouTube videos made by Casey Neistat. He is a famous YouTuber. We can also specify the final model parameter. The options for this one are either basic or default. Uh, if you don't do anything, the default model will be used, but let's specify the basic model so that we will use the basic model, which tends to be a bit faster, but a bit less accurate. We can also specify if you like the max output size. By default, it is 2000 tokens, but you can um, set it up to 4000 tokens. For this endpoint, we cannot really pass any other extra information or any other extra instruction like we did with the question answer one or the custom summary one where we were passing uh, what kind of summary that we want or the questions that we want to ask. But with the action items endpoint, uh, what we do is to create action items. So we do not need to instruct Lemur um, specifically. And let's get the results through the transcript group by calling Lemur and the action items by passing the parameters to it. And then I can print the results. All right, let's see what Lemur came out with in terms of action items or advice. It says, follow up with friends in New York City to see how they are doing after the city's difficult times during COVID-19. Check in with your wife, Candace, to see how she is adjusting to being back in New York City. Reconnect with your kids' friends and their parents now that you are back in the city. Make time to enjoy the little things about being back in New York that brings you joy like running routes and visiting favorite coffee shops. So this seems like a great list of advice for someone who just came back to New York City. In the next and the last video of this series, we're going to talk about how to get Lemur to achieve a task of your own choosing. So a custom task. So let's take a look.